All right, guys, let's talk about Lavinia Woodward. Uh, she was an Oxford University student at Christ Church College. She was doing academic papers for vein grafting, so was had a bright medical career ahead of her. And some of her uh, reports of her by her friends, they said she should get a Nobel Prize in the future. She was so brilliant. But uh, she wasn't so brilliant because she went and got drunk. She got high on drugs, cocaine and other drugs, and then stabbed her boyfriend at the time, who was a student at the University of Cambridge, cut his leg open, required stitches, threw a glass jar at him, threw some jam at him, uh, you know, could have killed the guy. And she got arrested. This was over in, in England. And then she had a 10-month prison sentence. But justice system felt so sorry for her that they didn't do anything about imprisoning her. They just kind of suspended the sentence. But a crazy woman, uh, you know, on drugs, alcoholic, had severe mental disorders from eating issues that she had to get treatment for, and uh, just not a good quality woman. Um, so the the outrage was so bad with, with what happened to this woman that, in fact, the current dean of Oxford, he's in a huge political scandal now at the college. is costing, I think, millions of pounds and trying to fight this legally because it started with her and how he tried to do new safeguarding measures because of her, Lavinia, and then uh, that boiled over into other ad other things in the college that caused problems. And so this, this little woman has, has caused huge problems for Oxford. May get the dean kicked out. And, you know, anyways, it's caused a lot of political turmoil at the college because of her. Let's look at what other damage this woman has caused. Um, Philip Kakalovsky is her current boyfriend. Now, he is the son, I think he's 21 or 22, he's the son of a Russian billionaire. This Russian billionaire was the vice president of the big oil firm in Russia, Yukos, and he ran the International Monetary Fund as the representative from Russia. Uh, he was friends with the prime minister in the 90s over there in England, and he married a woman that ran the Bank of New York uh, over in the U.S. that supposedly helped him embezzle billions of Russian mafia money so this guy is no joke, you know, he's a billionaire, he's uh, very powerful, he's survived the Russian mafia, so he's, you know, he's no fool, but his son can do no better than to get this Lavinia Woodward, a crazy woman who has mentally unstable, has done stabbed a man, has, you know, been accused and proven to have been a, a mentally ill person with eating disorders, and alcoholism, and drugs. And this is the best this man can do. The best he can do is a crazy, psychopathic, murderous woman with drug issues and mental illness issues. And he is the son of a billionaire Russian oligarch that was the vice president of Yukos and, you know, beat the embezzlement charges that various governments tried to bring against him for embezzling billions of dollars in Russian mafia money. You know, I just don't know what to say. What chance do any of you have? This guy is the son of a Russian billionaire, a brilliant guy, a good criminal, some would say. And all he can do is a crazy, psychopathic, drug-using, murderous, psychopath woman, I mean... You know, it's over, guys. If that's the best that Philip Kaglowski can do, is this Lavinia Woodward, and he's the son of a billionaire, international man of mystery, criminal, ran the International Monetary Fund, and that's all he can do. What can you do? Seriously. So I, I made this video because I saw my, my boy Peter Nolan talking about this girl. And I just wanted to know who, you know, who is with her now. So, you know, he couldn't get him a nice girl that didn't have a criminal record. And 
possibly is going to bring down the entire administration at Oxford College. And as a psychopath and a drunk, uh, he, he couldn't get that. The son of a billionaire. So, all right.